tonight's guest. He's on our first show of the year, so we can get it out of the way. Host of One Nation and co-host of Fox and Friends, Brian, please kill me. He's open for more A-listers than Stormy Daniels. <laughs> Actor, writer, and comedian, Jamie Lissau. I thought that was funny. Right, and that was the introductions to last night's Gutfeld, and this is our first reunion show after that, right? <laughs> this this is, is. This is the first time since that show we've gotten together. You know, a lot of people wait too long for the reunion show. <laughs> I read on, we not get us. right on it. It was just been hours. Yeah. Was... <laughs> so, uh, we we might have some breaking news, Jamie, and you're the perfect person to have here. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, we're, we have, as you know, we're voting for the, it's really going well for the Republicans voting for a speaker. It's basically been a layup for Kevin McCarthy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you're not even following it, are you? I'm going to be honest with you. Right. When I go, when I'm in New York City for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm on the pulse of the nation. Like I'm in. Of the country. Of the country. And I was in Alaska with my kids, and, and I'm so out of the loop, like for the last like Do you even days. watch the news? You'd watch the news there, right? I, for nine days, my ex-wife was, she's in Hawaii. That's what she's using the money I give her for. Huh. And uh, I've been, I ha, I don't think I turned on the news for nine days. So I come back and I got to like really, as I was walking over here, I was like, oh man, I hope I'm not exposed for how little I know. Because <laughs> huh. Kill Me's so smart. Right. Well, I'm, I'm tracking it uh, because the world is. Mm -hmm. um, but keep in mind too. Alaska was Seward's folly, correct? Mm -hmm. Never the the, right. the the thought was back in Alaska that we never mm -hmm. should have bought it. Why did you buy Alaska, the former Secretary of State and Governor of New York? That's right. Yeah, they were going to call it Seward's f up, but they decided to uh, right. call it Seward's folly. When do you think it turned and they real? Because you were from Alaska. Yeah. When do you think it turned and they realized this was a great move? I lived Probably there, the 40s. and I still agree that it was Seward's folly. <laughs> it is not yeah, true. After living there, no, but you mean it's worth. I mean the resources and the. I'm, it, it's a good, it's a great question because you know our permanent fund, how Alaskans get paid to live in Alaska, right? Because you, you have oil. We're profit sharing with oil, and that's been going on for yeah. I mean, I think this has been going on for like thirty. Do you get years. a lot of money? It used to be like two. It used to be it used to be significant, two thousand dollars a kid, right? Dude, Nick Cannon would get forty thousand dollars. <laughs> he would never have to work again if his, if his kids lived in what, Alaska. What is he doing now, by the way? Nick Cannon, right? Besides right various now, women. Um, well, he's but, not buying condoms. I'll tell you that. Uh, Kill me. You're definitely not wasting. He can't write that off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, I've never seen anything like it. We've seen celebrities where you have a situation where you have multiple yeah. uh, partners, but not on purpose. Right. I mean, this yeah. is making up for anything that happened with the Friends cast that waited too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like, I would, I love, I love kids. I love my kids. Right. And if I had like unlimited funds... I would you probably would have, a lot have a, of kids. I'd have a million. It's only because I go, well, it gets crazy, right? Like you have college to pay for and all these things times how many kids. But Nick Cannon, the only weird thing is how many moms are there? I think a lot. I think there's, can you look that up? I can think you, there's one more mom than Siri, kid. How many, can you ask weird. Siri a question like that? How many moms does? Mm -hmm. How many moms does how would Nick you phrase Cannon's? That? How many baby how mamas many does Nick Cannon? Baby have? mamas, but that's kind of a slang mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I'm not sure that Siri has learned slang, <laughs> right? Or I heard Jamie's it, slang. I think it's 20 kids, 21 moms, six, which makes no uh, sense. Which is six kids. Uh, six moms. How many kids? Okay. 12 kids, six six women. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not, listen, and by the way, he was hospitalized with exhaustion, no joke, <laughs> a few months ago. There was a picture of him because he's one of these guys who takes pictures of everything he does. That happened he's to a, me once after right, my wife he told took me a, a story. Picture. I was okay. hospitalized with exhaustion. She told the story. You never met her, but that's just how long. She just can't get to the point. So I was hospitalized. <laughs> <laughs> but just because she doesn't get through it. So I'm, I'm getting. Is that true? That he was hospitalized with totally exhaustion? Totally true. I, I feel like Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan always does that. He keeps on pointing to his Jamie, who's mm -hmm. his aide. But this case, it's Allison. Allison, yep. you'll see the picture online. Because it's it's not really a joke. It's like he's a I'm exhausted. Yeah. Because he has a bunch of jobs and a bunch of kids and six different women. Absolutely. And that and that's where I'm saying, if you give me ten kids and money's not an issue, I'll take it. But I I'm, I can't do six. Why? Six, you right. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's where yeah, I think it would get too complicated. Right. But put, put it this way, you should have to automatically debit your account. You can't be writing checks. Oh my god. Right? It's like oh, it's the fifteenth, or you either you have to sync everybody up on the first or the fifteenth. 
Yeah. They got to make a decision collectively together. Yeah. And how excited would you be to go to the hospital to just get a break for exhaustion? <laughs> you guys you guys don't want to keep me a couple of days longer for observation? Right. I, I just, look at me. I'm tired. I just need some rest. Is it, You haven't confirmed this yet? Mm-hmm. So in 2015, so it was a while ago. Are you sure? Well, that's what the news, all the news articles are dated for 2015. Nothing came up more recent. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Still in there. Do you have Google? It is Google. Right. All right. It's well, 2015, he was exhausted. Okay. It seems like yesterday. Uh, so, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Um, a, a couple of things going on. So we have the Speaker of the House. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was supposed to be Kevin McCarthy. He moved into the office. Mm-hmm. But when he took a vote, he was he got 20 no votes, 200 yes votes. Mm-hmm. Can't get it unless he's only, he can only afford to lose four votes. Wow. So he's in trouble. Mm-hmm. And so you might be saying, well, what's the big deal? We haven't had this, we haven't had more than one round since 1923 and multiple rounds since the Civil War. Whoa. So to me, the analogy is, and it's a good one, and I think it's one of the best. It's as if you go into the locker room to vote for captain for your team, mm-hmm. and it gets so heated, people start getting thrown out the door, it goes crazy, and you go, wait a second, I just want to go play the Jets, you're the Giants, you just want to play the Jets, but they're fighting in the locker room, and the Giants are just waiting on the field. You had a bunch of Democrats in the minority waiting to get coronated and find out what committees they're on. And the other team will not get out of the locker room because they can't name a captain. Mm. You get it? I get it. I get it. Big deal. So they had three rounds of votes. And after the three rounds, they went right into another vote. But no one lobbied anyone to change. So the votes were virtually the same all three times. And now I'm getting word that they're supposed to have another vote in 90 minutes. Has that ever happened before? Three rounds? Yeah, I think they had 122 rounds, but that was 1856. Oh, wow. And you know what happened four years later? Civil War. Mm. So let's just not hope we have that. Yeah. Right. You, you do okay, because they'd probably never get to Alaska. That's the That's great it. thing about right. Alaska. Right, that in Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, whenever, um, whenever we can't, in Alaska, you don't have the dangers of, I remember when they were talking about like North Korea testing weapons. Right. And they were like, they were shooting them up straight in the air. And then there was like a physicist from here that said, how close could it get to us if we like angled it and shot it towards us? And I remember on the news, well, I remember watching the news and they came on and said, great news. We're st- it could only hit Alaska. So don't worry about it, guys. And I was like, what? I'm, wa- <laughs> I'm watching this from Alaska. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.